everyone and welcome to another video from Colour with Claire. Today we're looking at Hannah Lynn's brand new release. This is Mythical Maidens and Curious Creatures. So this has only been out I think a week or two now and uh, it's Hannah Lynn's latest book full of her beautiful girls, fairies and obviously this one being Mythical Maidens it's going to have a lot of fantastical elements to it, fantasy, um, mythology etc. So beautiful coloured cover as usual, um, I know that Hannah Lynn does these covers with pencil by hand and they do look digitally coloured don't they, it's absolutely gorgeous so she's not only talented as an illustrator, she's talented as a colourist as well. So uh, there's the front cover, we've got the back with a few little thumbnails of what we can expect in the book. There's 25 different illustrations and there's two copies of each included so if you mess up one you've got another one there spare or if you want to do the same picture but different colour scheme you can do that twice. So it says that it features unicorns, dragons, griffins, gargoyles and more along with her usual whimsy girls. So let's get straight into it and have a look at the illustrations. So this is an Amazon Create Space book, as all of her books are. So by now you probably know the paper stock isn't the best, but it's certainly not the worst, and it's perfectly fine to colour on. It's bright white, it's fairly thin, and it is one-sided, so you can still use your markers. So as usual with Hannah's books, we get a little thumbnail page of all of the different illustrations that are inside, and they're all named as well. So you've got Francesca, Cupid, Moonlight Huntress, Flight of the Harpy, Pegasus Princess, uh, Vespa, there's all different uh, names to the illustration so you know exactly what you're colouring. So this is the first one and I think this is the one from the front, yes it is. So there's your typical fairy, you've got the wings, you've got all of the beautiful leaves on this kind of bikini, so very very organic looking nature inspired fairy. And then of course you've got your second copy straight after, so that's the format that it comes in. This is a beautiful full, full page illustration with a mermaid and her unicorn friend or familiar. Uh, you can see that they're in the water, there's a waterfall. This is an absolutely beautiful scene, I can imagine it coloured with really exotic bright colours. So that's that one, I'll just flip past the uh, duplicate. Here we've got a cute little dragon, it looks almost like a baby dragon and obviously the uh, the whimsy girl is riding on top of that. He's even got a little club on the end of his tail. <laughs> very, very sweet and there's some dragons in the background as well. Very simple background this one, just clouds in the sky. So some of these illustrations are more complex than others, there's a bit of a, a variation. So this looks a bit like um, the hippogriff from Harry Potter, doesn't it? Bookbeak. I'm um, not sure if that's what it is or if it's just a griffin. Probably, I don't know. Um, but you've got the little fairy whimsy girl to go with her. I'm guessing that this is a, a griffin inspired whimsy girl because they both have the same wings. So it's almost like the um, the animal version of the human sort of thing. Like with the mermaid, you've got the unicorn as her friend or her pet. And you've got that here as well. This is a centaur. So again, Harry Potter, we all know centaurs. Well, that's the first time I'd heard of them in Harry Potter anyway. Uh, so we've got a lady centaur here. She's got her spear. Beautiful, I love this hair. It's almost like Princess Jasmine from Aladdin hair, isn't it? With the whole flowing thing going on. Um, and the background, again, quite simple, just trees and fields. This one is an oriental inspired um, illustration you can see. We've got what looks like a fox here and um, beautiful costume on this lady. It's, it's almost like a kimono type thing with a wrap around and she's got that, um, what do they call that? It's like an umbrella but it's a parasol, something like that. Uh, so yeah, again you've got the kind of Chinese inspired buildings in the background. This one is just a close-up of a little fairy, beautiful wings, um, sitting on a tree. I don't want to dive too much into descriptions because I know that um, I've had a few comments from people saying that I just go on and on, so I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet. So obviously we've got a mermaid here sitting upon a rock under the water. This one is my absolute favourite, I think, from the book. Um, I didn't do this one because it kind of intimidated me a little bit. There was a lot of detail going on, so I wanted to pick something that was a little bit simpler um, for my first one. But I do adore this illustration. I love the hair, how it's got the flowers wrapped around it. I love the fact that her 
pregnant tummy is the earth you know this is a mother nature scene um i love the fact that her dress is waterfall and the background is beautiful with the trees and the water and the mountains and the sun rays and everything absolutely love that illustration so we've got a pegasus going on we've got a rainbow in the background she's riding the pegasus there's a castle down here very kind of girly fantasy um i can imagine a lot of pinks and purples on this one now we go to something completely different this is a vampire so you can see the two little mm -hmm. teeth sticking out the little fangs we've got loads of um dripping wax candles and this kind of gothic looking window structure behind her here this looks like it's the cupid illustration that i mentioned earlier and i love how the clouds have little hearts hanging off them and i really like the little bow uh, ribbons that are uh, wrapped around the legs as well this is i'm guessing a wolf because we've got the full moon in the background so kind of like a werewolf girl again another really really good one i love that but i love anything to do with kind of creepiness and horror and here's the one that i picked now i did actually rip <laughs> i did actually rip the other one out the the duplicate of this because i started it and then i, I realized i was going in the wrong direction with it so i ripped it out and then my sister started coloring it so there you go uh so yeah i did this uh with prismacolor pencils and the rainbow as you can see is super super glittery and i did that with stickles glitter glue which is one of my favorite mediums to use it's absolutely stunning um i colored the rainbow first with marker so i gave it a marker base and then laid the stickles on top so that if there were any gaps between the glitter you wouldn't see them because it's already been colored so there's a tip for you if you're using stickles um and i did actually do this rainbow or i dedicate this page with this glittery rainbow to pride month which is this month celebrating the uh, LBQT plus community. Very, very, feel very strongly about that. So um, this is my pride uh, illustration to support that month. But as you can see, it's mostly a, an Irish themed page, but it's got a rainbow on it. So I'm going with that. Uh, but yeah, really, really enjoyed coloring it and uh, really pleased with how it's turned out. And then you can see the marker. So I used alcohol marker. So this is... It's almost like a phoenix. Shall we flip back to the front of the book and have a quick look what it's called? Um, yeah, phoenix. So yeah, rising from the ashes, you've got the flames down here. Really, really nice illustration there. So I'm loving all of the different feathers and uh, the kind of phoenix that's built into her hair, which also looks like flames. This one is really sweet. So this is kind of like a centaur as well. This one's called fauna. So it's the fawn with the flute kind of reminds me of Spyro the Dragon if you've ever played that game it was a game that I played growing up and I still play it today um and there was a, a level in Spyro that uh had a lot of fawns anyway <laughs> and then we've got a little brook or a, a, a little stream in the background and a forest just gorgeous next up if I can get the page this is a, a kind of a horse mermaid now i'm sure this must have a name in mythology oh seahorse cove seahorse of course <laughs> so yeah another underwater one for you there with your sun rays poking through at the surface of the water now then what's this one so i'm really loving the kind of kind of old looking oldie worldy costume on this one she's got a little dragon on her shoulder dragon down here as well and a little little cat or something that's got bat wings so that's really sweet again i'm just gonna have to look at the front because i want to know what this is it's uh oh guia i don't know what that means uh, it must be it must be either a name of the lady or it's something to do with mythology this one is flight of the harpy so i think is is a harpy a I know it's a flying woman, but I thought a harpy was something kind of evil. I don't know. Um, but she's flying right up into the sky. We've got the tips of the mountains behind her. This one is the Willow Dryad, um, which I think isn't a dryad, <clears throat> excuse me, a dryad or a dru druid, kind of a pagan thing. I don't know. Um, but it looks very, very organic and nature centered. You can see that she actually doesn't have legs. She has roots so yeah but there's a lot of intricate detail on this lots and lots of leaves to color 
next up how sweet this is gorgeous this has got to be a gnome hasn't it yeah garden gnome so a little girl garden gnome absolutely adore this one it's very very cute we've got the frog we've got all the flowers and the grass just showing that she's really tiny and uh yeah that's probably another one of my favorites from the book to be honest this one is sphinx's lair so this is a sphinx so Egyptian colour palette going on here, I'm thinking. She's got the tail. She's got the kind of Cleopatra eyes going on. She has, oh, paws. She's got paws. I wondered what that was then. Um, and there's kind of bricks and gems and loads and loads of coins in the background. So do I thought uh, Sphinx's kind of guard, maybe she's guarding the treasure. I don't know. I need to read up on my mythology. So this is the gargoyle girl. So you can see she is sat on top of this very, very tall building. You can tell by all of the structures, very small and tiny below. Even the Eiffel Tower is here and uh, the sun is setting. She's on the edge of this building and uh, she's got a little elephant friend next to her, which is kind of odd, but hey ho. This is Tamed, this one is called. So it's the queen of the animals, I'm guessing. She's got a bit of a steampunk thing going on. She's got a... Um, a staff with a big gem on the end um what do you call it a gem i don't know what do they call the things that's like a globe of power i don't know <laughs> shut up claire uh this is a snake a lion and a goat so i'm guessing that again this is centered in mythology and there will be some kind of creature that encompasses these three we then have the last one which is emmeline and legend so legend is her unicorn and yeah what can you say just just a gorgeous gorgeous book of illustrations as we've come to expect from Hannah Lynn I really don't know where she gets all her ideas from and how she bangs them out at such a rate um it's always you know a very short time between Hannah's books and they're always beautiful illustrations so I don't know where she gets her inspiration from but just stunning so there we go and then she's got a special thanks page to all of her patrons so if you follow her on patreon um that means that you'll be part of her vip club so you'll get an extra illustration every single month that nobody else else has access to and uh, my name's in there somewhere but uh yeah i would definitely recommend that you sign up for that because um you get a lot of behind the scenes info so i knew about this book kind of before it was announced because i'm in that group so yeah i'm going to leave the links in the description for you to buy this from amazon and also for you to join her group if you wish to uh support her and that's it so thank you very much for watching another rambling review from color with claire and i'll see you next time